Hello YouTubers, I am going to put together a 1000 piece puzzle. Let's get started. So let's open up this box and empty out all the puzzle pieces. Now after you empty out all the puzzle pieces, we need to get the edges. So we're going to pick through all these puzzle pieces and just pull out all the edges and put them to the side. So, here's an edge. I just put it to the side. Let's go through here. And what I'll do is pull out each piece. And what's not an edge, I'll just put it back in the box. Okay, now that we have separated all the edges, we are going to put the edges together. So I'll take out color and coordinate it to the colors. So I'll put all my little whites for the edges at the top and the green at the bottom and so forth and just put them together. Okay, now I have completed putting my edges together and now I have my puzzle frame. Now that we have our puzzle frame, let's look at the puzzle and see what stands out. Now I like the orange because of the water so I'm gonna go through my box and pick out all the orange pieces and it's gonna take a while but all my orange pieces I'm gonna just go through here and And you just find as, as many as you can because you know you can always go back and get them later so just pull out as much as you can okay now I pulled out most of all the orange pieces and brown pieces um, from the box there's probably still some left in there but that's okay because we could get it later and let's start putting it together Okay, now I'm back and I'm just showing you a little bit of how I'm putting the pieces together. Okay, so out of all the orange pieces that I gathered, this is what I was able to put together on part of the puzzle. Now, as you can see, there's pieces missing, but we could always find those later in the box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the puzzle box and I'm going to start putting pieces and just spreading them out. And this will help me pick the pieces and see where I want to go next. Okay, I have laid out some more puzzle pieces from the puzzle box. As you can see, there's still more in there. So what I'm going to do now is go through and pick out some of my orange that I see. I have my orange pieces and these are pieces that are my lighter pieces and these are pieces that could help me complete the puzzle. Like I have this piece that I could put here. I told you it's in this, the puzzle pieces. You could always find them later. And I have more pieces that I could put in and I just keep going okay now as you can see 
I've completed a little bit more of the puzzle by pulling some of my orange pieces and fixing them in the places that they belong. And now my puzzle is getting more completed. Because I have room, I'm going to put more puzzle pieces down from the puzzle box. So I'm just going to add more and start spreading more puzzle pieces out. Okay, now I laid out some more puzzle pieces so I could have more puzzles to choose from. And sometimes you may run across a piece that catches your eye on part of the puzzle because you know it's like a memory game too and also you know you can remember a piece and I remember that this piece right here that I got from here this piece I remember goes right here and also another piece caught my eye is this piece and it goes here So during you putting your puzzle together, you're going to remember pieces and you could always go ahead and stop what you're doing and put the piece in. But what I'm going to do now is look at what's catching my eye now and I see all these blues. So I'm going to take all the blues out because on my puzzle box, my picture, blue is part of the water. And then I have the swans. So I see pieces for the swans and the blue water. So what I'm going to do now is take out all the pieces. I see swan pieces here and I see blue. So I'm going to take out all the blue pieces and my swan pieces. Okay, I've taken out the light blue pieces, which are the pieces to me is for the water. And then I've taken out my swan pieces also. Uh, you may miss some pieces, that's okay. But you have some to work with. Um, now that I've taken out the pieces, I have room for to put some more puzzle pieces down. So I'm going to add more puzzle pieces and maybe I'll find some more blues and some more swan pieces. If you have a larger table, it's easier because you can put all your pieces down at one time. I have added the, some more puzzle pieces and I do see a piece for a swan and I do see some more blues and grays. Um, also, you could see pieces for what you were working on earlier, like I was working on the the orange where the water is. so. I could pull those pieces out and put them to the side and I always could put them together later. I noticed putting together uh, the swan pieces here. Um, I have to find more pieces for the swan. And also I noticed when I was putting together the water pieces, I was finding parts of the boat and parts of the lily pads. So I'm going to probably look for those also. I pulled out more pieces for the swan. Also, more pieces for the lily pads and um, the boat. I also found other pieces that caught my eye. What I was working on earlier, uh, part of the water. I will be working on the pieces here and I'll let you see what I've completed. My swans are coming together, puzzle pieces. As you can see, I'm still missing pieces. So I'll just keep going through these pieces over here. And I'll keep going through the pieces that I have in my box until I find the pieces to complete my swan. Uh, and also start working on trying to get the lily pads and the water together. The swan is almost completed and had to get moved over because the pieces fit here on this side. So now I have my swan almost done. I have some lily pads in the blue water. 
and then I have part of the water with the boat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to pull out pieces that could possibly complete my boat. And it's whatever your eyes see, how, whatever you see that you want to work on, you can work on. Okay, I want to look at the puzzle picture that I'm that I'm putting together. As you can see, there's different objects. And sometimes, you know, it'll catch your eye when you see a puzzle piece. And that's what I do. I kind of pull some of those pieces out. Um, as you can see, there's two boats. Um, there's a little house at the top. There's a little pail. Certain things stand out. So when you're looking for your pieces, it's okay to pull them out and put them on the board. Like I found some pieces to uh, finish putting my swan. I found pieces for the trees and some of the water. I found some more pieces. And so that's what I have here. I have like this pail pieces I found. Uh, there's some boat pieces for the larger boat, some pieces for the smaller boat. And then I also found a couple of pieces for the um, house. So I'm going to put those together. I have part of the pail completed here. And I have the red bow completed partly. Part of the house. And then also the other boat. Missing some pieces here. So sometimes you get kind of stuck. And you don't know what to do so I'm going to stop the boats and I'm going to start working on where the rocks are and probably some bushes so I'm going to pull out some pieces for the rocks and bushes and work from there I pulled out the pieces for some of my rocks down here at the bottom and I also some of the bushes too but when I was going through the pieces I also saw a basket so I pulled out some pieces for the basket and I also noted there's a couple of paddles uh, so I pulled out the pieces for that and then also like I said I have pieces from the house pieces to complete I found some duck pieces to go with my swans over here duck pieces go with my swan so you could work on it and just keep adding and I found more pieces over here, so I'll be putting those in as well. Some of the rocks are put together. And I have the paddles going up. Uh, did part of the basket. And I am still working on doing the bushes and completing the boat. But I did put some other pieces in. As you can see, it's getting fuller. So as I go and I see pieces that need to go in, I'll just put them in. I've completed the smaller rocks. There's three more larger rocks that I didn't do yet. Um, I completed the paddles, the red boat. Uh, still work on the house, almost complete that. Uh, this boat is complete. I also completed the swans and there's the two ducks. So now, uh, on my picture, I have the larger rocks, I have the tree trunk, and the sky. So what I'm going to do now is pull out pieces uh, so that I could complete um, the tree trunk and maybe do some sky up here. So I'll go through here and pull out pieces and then I'll continue I pulled out pieces for the tree trunk I also put out some pieces that I could use to complete the water and then I pulled out pieces that's going to help me with the sky and there's an eagle in the sky also I have completed my water I also completed the sky with the eagle I completed the house, but I have not completed all of the trunk of the tree. So I'm going to work on that, and then I'm going to work on completing the bottom part with the larger rocks. I am almost done. I only have a few more pieces left. I 
I completed the larger rocks. As you can see, I have piece missing here and over here. I've completed the tree trunk. I have a couple of pieces missing as well. Uh, sometimes, you know, you overlook the pieces and that's okay because you can always go back and find them later. So what I'm going to do now is down at the bottom there, it's more water and more lily pads. Um, and then I'm going to complete the top where the trees are. I'm going to go over to my puzzle pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them from the trees and from the water and the lily pads. I have separated the remaining pieces. I have the top for the trees then I have part of the lily pads and water are here and then I found these pieces look like a flower and I think this is a rock. Uh, so I'm going to get started on that. And when I come back, I'll show you the completed puzzle. The puzzle is complete. The name of the puzzle is Lakeside Morning by Daryl Bush. Uh, it's a Buffalo puzzle and it's 1,000 pieces. Thank you for watching.